on the television and I saw this. Ancelotti bemoans a lack of balance as to why Real Madrid drew 1-1 with Mallorca. And for the first time, I was like, I agree. A lack of balance, as he said, a lack of understanding. And I'm here to tell you guys where it went wrong. So, Real Madrid begin their La Liga campaign with a 1-1 draw to Mallorca. It's a tough ground to go to. Let's just put it out there. It's a tough ground to go to. Low block, compact, very aggressive off the ball. And on top of everything, Mallorca, they are notoriously well known for making use of the 12th man. What is the 12th man? The fans. They get the fans on board. It becomes a very hostile atmosphere, a very hostile environment. A place not many players are comfortable playing in. But I agree with Carlo Ancelotti. Balance. Balance is key. Balance is key. And I've said this over the years. Real Madrid have won superpower that no other team in the world has and they've shown over the years they've earned the right to this superpower what is this superpower freedom it's freedom every player wants freedom on the pitch you look at teams Serie A, La Liga, Premier League, Bundesliga all over the world teams nowadays the players are restricted they're told play in this zone do the following stick to your position it's a team game why because it becomes like a machine. Everybody has to do their job in order for the machine to operate. I've always looked at Real Madrid over the years and been like, these players have got total freedom. But in return, you have to work hard and you have to win games. As long as you work hard and you win games, freedom is yours. Now, let's just look at a few examples that I got from watching the Mallorca game. And this is why I completely agree with Carlo Ancelotti when he says a lack of balance is what held Real Madrid back against Mallorca. Now, you can clearly see Vinny Jr., Rodrigo, Kylian Mbappe, all three of them favour their left-hand side. All three of them play their best of football down the left-hand side, but there's only one left-hand side and there's only really one left winger. And in my opinion, it's Vinny Jr. Vinny Jr. is the best player in the world. You play the best player in the world in his best position. But... Where freedom comes into it is the fact that all three of them can interchange one another. And this is something that I was looking forward to. All three of them will interchange. So one minute, you're defending against Vinny Jr. down the left. The second minute, it's Kylian Mbappe. The third minute, it's Rodrigo. They keep rotating. They interchange with one another. The problem is, and this is what I gathered against Mallorca, is when they don't interchange and Vinny Jr. sticks to the left-hand side, He's joined there by Kylian Mbappe. And you can see from the examples, all three of them are on the left-hand side. And at times, Jude Bellingham, who is the more left-sided interior, as he bombs forward, it turns into Real Madrid's four best players, their four most penetrative of players, their four goal scorers are all playing down the left-hand side. Now, of course, there's pros and cons to it. What's a pro? Similar to the goal that Rodrigo scored. Every single one of them got a touch of the ball. Why? Because they were all in close proximity of one another. They were bouncing the ball of one another. Overloads. The problem is, if you want to overload the left-hand side and you want all of these star players to play next to one another, you need to score more than one goal. Real Madrid only scored one goal. And you can see from the example, sometimes crosses are coming into that box. And I'm watching it and I'm thinking, one loose ball, if somebody's at the back post, it's a simple tapping. But Rodrigo was never there. Rodrigo was always next to Vinny. Like you can even see from these examples, towards the end of the game, all three of them are on the left-hand side. What does it mean for the right-hand side? The way I look at it is Real Madrid have got star players. Spread them across the pitch. That way, your threats are all over the park. The opposition would love to come up against the team where all of their star players are down one side. Because that way, they don't have to worry about the other side. The other side is empty. The other side has no threat. Spread your star players across the pitch. That way, you've got threats all over the park. You can score goals from all over the park. You can create opportunities from all over the park. Now, I want to show you just one example. One example throughout the game where they were spread out and this whole move started with Rodrigo being down the right-hand side. 
Kylian Mbappe being down the centre. Vinny Jr. being close by. Jude Bellingham occupying an area in the opposition box. It was the opportunity, you can see, it was the opportunity that Kylian Mbappe missed. But every single one of them got a touch on the ball. But every single one of them was positioned far away from one another. One person was out wide. The other one was in the opposition box. The other one was outside the opposition box. They created angles for one another. And I'll be honest, it was one of the nicest moments of the game. Why? Because it was all one-touch football. The ball went from the right-hand side to the centre, to the left-hand side, across goal. And on another day, Kylian Mbappe scores. That is the benefits of spreading out your star players across the pitch. But when you've got all three of them, all four of them on the left-hand side, and there's only really one ball, only one of them is going to be on it. The other three are just there taking up space. But Carlo Ancelotti also mentioned a lack of understanding of the ball and why balance hindered his team. And you can clearly see, just do the maths, put one and two together. If every single one of them is down the left-hand side, when Real Madrid lose the ball, what does it now mean for Fede Valverde, who is playing off the right-hand side? What does it mean for Danny Carvajal? They don't have much support. And now you're asking a lot of somebody like Rodrigo. Because they now have to track back from the left-hand side, run across goal to get back in their natural position. Real Madrid's players favoured the left-hand side. When Real Madrid get caught on the transition, their right-hand side is empty. And it's no surprise. Mallorca favoured the right-hand side. That's where they got their most joy because they knew that's where the space was. So, what is the solution? Discipline. These Real Madrid players, they have freedom. They have the freedom to roam. They have the luxury to play wherever they like. But when it becomes too frequent, it becomes predictable. And that's what happened against Mallorca. It got to a point where it became so predictable that Mallorca nullified all of Real Madrid's star players. Overloads are lovely when all the players go down one hand side and they bounce the ball off one another. It's great. But if Real Madrid want to operate like that, if they want to play like that, they need to make sure they start scoring more than one goal to win the game. Because when they don't, these are flaws that the opposition can counter. It's all about discipline. The players need to rotate. One minute on the left, one minute on the right. As long as they start rotating one on one another, their threats all over the park. And all three of them have shown. If I have to play down the right-hand side, I can have an impact. But the funny thing is, when all three of them were down the left-hand side, the impact was minimal. So, I don't think Ancelotti should be taking away freedom from these plays. It's more just discipline them to know when to do overloads and when to just maintain width. But, at the end of the day, it's three players that have never ever played with one another. Rodrigo and Vinny Jr. have never ever played with Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe has only had, what now, two games with them? He still needs to adapt to the La Liga, to his new teammates. This Real Madrid team as a whole is still adapting to life without Tony Cruz. Practice makes perfect, but at the end of the day, if I was Ancelotti, I would definitely sit them down and explain to them how all three of you being down the left-hand side didn't benefit us as much as you think. But anyways... If you're new, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the like, make sure to let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on another one.